Peace family, some of you guys might remember the story that broke May Amy Cooper, famously known as the Central Park Karen, has now come out speaking out with her encounter with a black male bird watcher last May. So she says she had exhausted all options before she called 911. And she says, as a woman alone in the park, she had no other options. So um, it's interesting, a lot of people remember this one and the huge outrage that it caused. We're so, gonna turn now mm -hmm. to that confrontation that was caught on camera sparking outrage overnight. A white woman calling to police after a black man says he asked her to leash her dog in Central Park. TJ Holmes joins us with what they're both saying this morning. Good morning, TJ. There's an African-American man threatening my life. Robin, those are the exact words this woman used in a frantic manner on 911. And so much of the outrage you mentioned, Robin, that is there this morning has to do with what many people perceive as her attempt to threaten and weaponize the police against a black man. This on-camera confrontation making headlines overnight. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. You're hearing the voice of 57-year-old Chris Cooper, who says his request for this woman to keep her dog on a leash quickly escalated. Can I take pictures calling the cops? Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Once she's on the phone with 911, you can hear her tone change. There is an African-American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. Cooper says he was bird watching in Central Park just after 8 a.m. on Monday when he came across the woman with her dog unleashed against park rules. I said to the young woman, I said, dogs in the ramble have to be on the leash at all times. Cooper claims she refused. That's when he says he used treats to try to lure the dog away from some plant beds just before he began recording. They don't like it when you feed their dog treats. And she didn't like that at all. And she immediately grabbed the dog, as you can see from the video, and started hauling it around by its collar. New York police confirm officers did respond to a reported assault, but says there were no arrests or summons issued for what they described as a verbal dispute. Speaking to a local New York station, the woman in the video apologized to Cooper, saying it was unacceptable, and I humbly and fully apologize to everyone who's seen that video, everyone that's been offended, everyone who thinks of me in a lower light, and I understand why they do. Adding that she was fearful because she says before the video began, Cooper had been yelling and offering her dog unknown items. The video quickly taking over Twitter's trending topics with more than 130,000 tweets, many calling for the woman to be fired. And overnight, her employer announced on Twitter that she will be placed on administrative leave pending investigation, adding, we take these matters very seriously and we do not condone racism of any kind. And the dog in that video, the woman has now returned it to the rescue where she got it. A lot of people pointed out her treatment of the dog in that video. And the rescue says it's now in their possession and in good health. And Robin, of course, after incidents in the past, we've seen hashtags driving while black, walking while black, sleeping while black. Well, yes, bird watching while black is now a topic being talked on, mm. about on Twitter. Yeah, guys, so we can see it says that the misdemeanor charges that were filed against Amy for falsely accusing Christian for threatening her were dismissed earlier this year. And she reportedly has filed a lawsuit against her employer for labeling her racist. She's now saying, I'm terrified to take my dog for a walk because what if someone sees me going to a home and realizes it's where I live? So sometimes I'll drive him over to a remote field or something just to play with him, but it's still hard. There's a beautiful hiking trail that I love to take him on and I can't take him because I'm terrified to go into the woods with him anymore. So um, as we see, you know, um, she has somewhat become, I guess, the victim in this situation, and I'm sure she'll be pushing it to, you know, see what she can get in a lawsuit and stuff like that. I mean, what do you guys think of this? I believe her attitude, you know, we didn't see what happened prior as she spoke about in terms of giving her dog treats, but that hyper, attitude and lying and even threatening first to say I i'm going to call the police and say this we didn't hear any threats come from the guy he was standing far from her he wasn't trying to approach her or anything and um you know she continued to phone the police and she continued to you know go into that act and i guess victimhood is is the the second part of it but you guys let us know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe
Peace. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on BoutTheOnline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.